Hello, how are you doing today? Yeah, I trust you are doing fine. I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through questions on that set. Now, I've done a lot on that set. I've done many of sets, lots of sets, themes using sets, how to draw Venn diagrams for two, for three sets, intersection for sets. I've done a lot on that set. You can check out those videos. Now, it says, Give me these two sets, determine the relationship between P and Q. So we are giving two sets, set P and set Q. So what can we say in these two sets? So let's see. Now talking about sets, what are the things to look out for in sets? The common ones are union, intersection, complements. The union of the set is simply P union. Q is equals 1, 1, 2, 3. So union is adding everything. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's what union is about. Adding two sets without repeating values, even if it is repeated. Now, let's look for another relationship. P Intersection Q. Intersection means what the sets have in common. So now, these two sets, they don't have anything in common. So that means P intersection Q is empty set. Or, so that's the relationship between the two sets. P intersection Q is empty. Question 2. He said P is a set of S such that S is all prime numbers from 1 to 20. Why set Q is a set of S for which S is all odd numbers from 1 to 20? So let's bring out the set first of all. Question 2. So P is prime numbers from 1 to 20. Now what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors. They can only divide one and themselves. So one, yes, no. One does not have two factors. One has only one factor. That is one. Two, yes. Two can divide one and it can divide itself. That's all. Two cannot divide any other number. So two is a prime number. Same thing with three. Three can divide only one and itself without remainder. remainder. Nothing else can divide 3 without remainder. So 3 divided by 2 or 3 divided by 1. 3 divided by 3. So lower numbers. So 3 is a, is, 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 uh, is a prime number. 4. No. 4 has factors. 2, 1, 4. So 4 is not. 5 is 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. So these are prime numbers from 1 to 20. Now, let's look for odd numbers from 1 to 20. Odd numbers are simply numbers that cannot, that cannot be divided by 2 without remainder. So uh, Q is equals 1, yes. Two, divide, 2 can divide by 2, yeah, without remainder. 3, 4, no. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. So these are the prime numbers, odd numbers from 1 to 20. Prime numbers from 1 to 20. It says, find P union Q. P union Q is simply... what are in the two sets without repeating any so we pick what is here and what is here and we arrange them in order one we have one two three so there's three here there's three here we pick just one so we keep arranging it like that three no four we have five no six we have seven no eight we have nine eleven thirteen fifteen seventeen 
So this is P union Q. B says we should look for P intersection Q. So P intersection Q is simply what they have in common. So looking at these two sets, what do they have in common? What is here and what is here? That's intersection. So let's look at that. One. No, they don't have one in common. Uh, they don't have two in common. They have three. They have five. They have seven. They have nine. They have eleven. They have thirteen. They have fifteen. They have seventeen. And they have nineteen. So that's P intersection Q. That's the answer to that question. It's easy, right? So let's solve the next question. Question 3 says U is this, M is this, N is this. We should find M prime union N prime. So what is M prime? M prime is simply a set of what is in this universal set that is not in M. That's M prime. So what is so what are here? E E, E, so no, F is not here, so F, G, G is here, no, H, H is here, no, F, G, okay, there's no G here, G, H, there's H here, we don't need that, P, Q, there's Q here, we don't need that, R, S, there's S here. So this is simply M prime. So what is in the universal set that is not in M? So 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 here. So that means what is here that is not here should be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So P, F, G, P and R are in the universal set. They are not in M. So let's see N prime. N prime is simply what is in the universal set that is not in N. So what are they? E is present here. It's not here. F is present here. It's not here. G is present here. It's not here. H is present and present, you know. P is present and present. We don't need it. Q. Q. Arrow is present here. So we don't need that. S. Okay, S is not present here. So S. So that's N prime. So N prime, you need your N prime. Is simply what is here and here in order without repeating as well. So A, B, C, D, E. So we have E, F, G, P, Q, R, S. So that's M prime union N prime. So take a look at that. It makes a lot of sense, right? All right, check out something else. Question four. You see this question for, you keep seeing something like this all the time for two sets and for three sets. Yes, you keep seeing them and you must learn them. If you don't learn them, you have problems because there is high chance that this type of questions will come on that set. They will bring this type one and not this type one. So look at this. It said in a class of 42 students. So this requires Venn diagram. And in my last video, I explained everything you need to know about Venn diagram for two sets and for three sets. So in a class of 42 students, each student offer at least one of math and physics. So from this, we can say that this is for two sets. We are dealing with two sets. So just draw the Venn diagram before you even continue. Uh, okay, we don't know yet. It's possible. So math, physics, this is the universal set, the total number. So if 22 students offer physics, 22 students offer physics and 28 students offer mass. Find how many offer physics only. So, phys you know, look at it. This is one confusing part they said. They said 22 students offer physics. Now, which one is physics only? Good. 22 students offer, we said we have how many students in the class? 42 students. 42. Now, 
28 plus 22 is more than 42. That means 22 students offer physics doesn't mean that they offer physics alone. It means out of the 22, uh, 22 that offer physics, some also offer maths. Out of the 28 students that offer maths, some also offer physics. So this is uh, the intersection. So where S is those who offer both maths and physics. So for us to get those who offer only physics, we need to look for those who offer maths and physics and subtract. Now, those who offer physics only will simply be 22 minus S, which is those who offer both. Why those who offer maths only will be 28 minus S, 28 minus those who offer both maths and physics, remove those who offer both. So with this, you get this. Now, how do you go about that? 28 minus S, we are solving for S now, plus S, plus 22 minus S is equals 42. So everything here, those who offer mass alone, those who offer physics alone, if you add them, they should be equal to 42, which is the universal set. Therefore, solving this, we know that minus s plus s, this already cancel. So, uh, this will give you 28 plus 22 minus 42 is equals s if you collect like terms. So, we can continue solving. So, if you are adding 28, 22, this is 0, 1, 50. So, this will give you 50 minus 42 is equals s. So uh, this will give you 8 is equals S. So S is equals 8. And S is not the answer. It is simply those who offer both subjects. So those who offer physics alone will be 22 minus 8. This will give you 4. No, uh, 14, I guess. Yeah. So 14 students offer physics alone. That's how you solve these questions. Okay, now I want to use one stone to keep many bears. Before then, now we've gotten those who offer physics alone, 14 students. If you are asked for number of students who offer mathematics alone, it's simply 28 minus 8 who offers both. So it will give you those who offer math alone, that's 20. What if it's for three sets, there's additional cost? Chemistry. Chemistry. So if there's additional cost, chemistry, that means the Venn diagram will be like this. That's for three sets. Three sets. It will be like this. So here will not be mass, physics, and chemistry. So you now have 28 here, 22. And let's say uh, out of that, let's say 15 offers chemistry. And let's increase this total to let's say 62. So if this is 62, the universal set, so it's something like this. So that means the question will not be, in a class of 62 students, 28 offers maths, 22 students offer physics, and 15 offers chemistry. Now they can tell you that if two students offer both physics and chemistry, so this is P intersection C, 2, and one student offers both mass and chemistry that means m intersection c one so one student offers both mass and chemistry so why this represent those who offer physics and mass so let's say four and you are still asked the same question or another question if you are asked another question like find number of students who offer the three subjects so that is simply here so s is p intersection C, M, intersection P, intersection C, that is this S. Those who offer all the subjects. So you can be asked to look for this, fine. You can also be asked for those who offer physics only, just like in this question. In any case, it's the same principle you use. Plus 15 minus S, this, that is this, plus 22 minus S, 
which is this is equals 62 so you add here 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 and here so once you solve that you get this minus s this minus s plus s so s plus so you get your value for s so from there you can subtract to get whatever you want to get so that is how to solve sets and questions on that set hope you found this class very helpful if so why not subscribe to get other amazing videos thank you for watching i appreciate you